Now we're going to go over getting signatures for uh, the documents. Now that we've filled in all the information for these different forms, the next thing you want to do is do e-sign. Then you'll create a new list. You can give it names if, you, if it's just a specific document, however you want to track it. But I'm going to pull the first two documents here. And then next. At this location, it is just between me and Tom, uh, listing agent and seller. Based on these documents, if I was doing the purchasing uh, with two people, you're going to have multiple names here. You can use the same email address for buyer one and buyer two or seller one and seller two. They will just be emailed at separate times. Then we choose done. At this point, it says that seller one will go first and listing agent will go second. You can actually left click on the mouse, pull it up there, and this will change the order so that both people are emailed at the same time. The next thing I, I like to do is if for some reason I need to get the signed contract offer emailed to the other agent, uh, could be that this offer is written at six o'clock on Friday. I know I'm going out to dinner with family and I won't be by the phone or email to be able to send it to the other agent. I can just type in uh, you know, listing agents email at you know, whatever their email address is and whoever gets CC will automatically be emailed the final documents once everything is signed. So I wouldn't use it for this, but if it was sending out a contract, I would. At this point, you can also CC the listing agent so that they get the document uh, after everything is signed. Then I click next. And on the first uh, document is the agency brochure. There is nowhere to automatically uh, have initials or signatures for them. So what I'm going to do is highlight Tom Seller. And then I'm just going to slide over an initial tab for him. And this will direct him to sign this document at this location. I will click Save. And once I go to the second document, what you'll notice is there's all these fields already put in for everybody. Since this is a document straight from the CCAR uh, or the South Carolina registry, it's going to automatically put in where uh, the clients are supposed to sign. So you see them at the bottom of each page. It also tells me that this is where I need to sign. It highlights it when I go there. So the documents by the state or in zip forms, you do not need to do anything with. This is the one exception. When you're doing a listing agreement, you must change whether you're act, whether you can act as a dual agent is considered or not considered. If you need to get rid of one of them, because you can't do both, you just click the X and then it disappears. Same thing here with designated agent, click the X that disappears and you can click that tab there or we'll bring it back up at that spot. Now that both forms have been completely filled out and signatures are in place, we're going to hit send. Title of the file gives a little email. You can add in whatever you want to. The first time that you send this to a client, you're going to get, you'll need to let them know that they're going to have to create their own password. They will have to create their own signature. I recommend them using one of the ones that's already created for zip, uh, by zip forms. And it will tell them uh, how many different documents they have to sign. But basically, they're just going to go through it next, 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 and then quit at the end. Um, I recommend you setting up this whole document system with you as the agent and as you with a different email as 
the client and kind of see how it will work for you. And that's all you do. Once I hit send now, it will send it to all parties.